Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we got something very cool. Check this out. This is the Stanley French press all in one. And when they say all in one, it means that you can boil your water in here for brewing coffee and you can also brew your coffee at the same time. So you don't have to carry too many gadgets when you're out camping and or overlanding. So in today's video, we're gonna actually review this product. We're gonna put it to the test. We're gonna go ahead and brew some coffee, show you the specs and features, and we'll see how it performs. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So here we have the Stanley French press. As you can see, nice and convenient and light. It comes all packed in one unit. And the way it works is that you take this out right here, and now this becomes your pot where you can actually boil your water. So it's 32 ounces. So at minimum, you should be able to get four cups of coffee. And then on this side, then you have your plunger system here. And this is what you would plunge your grounds in order for you to be able to do your French press and your coffee while camping. So super nice and convenient, very, very easy to clean. And not only that, this doubles as a pot. So if you want to use it after that to make a cup of noodle, some soup, or cook anything else in general, you can go ahead and do it. So this is awesome, very sturdy. Let's go ahead and try brewing some coffee here. So we have the unit here. We're going to take this out. We're going to put it on top of our gas system that we have going on here. Let's turn this on. So while the water is boiling there, we're going to go ahead and grind some coffee. Now this bag looks a little bit beat up because it's been all over Nicaragua with me traveling. But these beans actually come directly from my farm. So we have some nice fresh coffee beans that we're going to be trying this with. We're going to go ahead and put it in the grinder. I always grind my coffees, coffee right before brewing because I want the freshest grind. But if you don't want to do too much work, you can buy a bag that's already pre-grounded there. So we're going to go ahead and open this smells delicious like chocolate cranberry very good flavors so we're gonna accumulate our coffee here because based on the water that we have we need like three rounds of this so we're done boiling the water and i just touched this right now and this got very hot so if you're going to be boiling anything with it there's something to consider always bring something to uh, bring it down with but we're going to go ahead and take it off the burner so we can uh, pour the coffee in so we have the unit right here uh, we have our coffee that we pre-measured and we're going to go ahead and dump it in there. Let's go. Now that the coffee's in there, I forgot to bring a spoon. So we're going to use this stick here to stir the coffee. Uh, the stick is not included in the product. So uh, you can just find one wherever you're camping there. This is a quick segment to say that this video is sponsored by Immense Coffee Movement, which is my coffee brand. <laughs> we're working on rebuilding a coffee farm here in Nicaragua. So all the videos you guys watch, when you like and subscribe, or when you actually buy my coffee online to try from these mountains, you're actually helping this movement here. So thank you guys for doing that. So we're gonna go ahead and plunge the coffee now that it's been waiting for a few minutes here. Let's check it, see how it's working inside. It's working pretty well actually, quite surprised. And that's the end of it there. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our lid on right now. We are ready to pour now. Uh, this is a 16 ounce glass right there, going in smoothly. Overall, the process has been quite simple right now. So what we did notice though, when you're pouring coffee is that you have to pour it slowly because if not, you see that a coffee starts pouring everywhere. So as long as you take it slowly, then you're good to go. All right, so there you have it. You have four coffee cups with this simple unit. Let's go ahead and try the coffee. That is really good, really delicious. So let's go ahead and give it a review then. Well, there you have it. The Stanley French press all in one. I really like the product. Uh, the handles do get very hot though, so be very careful. I think that's with any camping pot that it gets extremely hot. And if you pour too fast, everything starts to come out right here. But those are two things that you can work around. This unit is very good for people who like camping or going outdoors. If you're looking to get the best flavors out of your coffee, I wouldn't recommend this unit. I would recommend the pour over, but a pour over to me is not as convenient to travel with. This checks all the boxes with simplicity, sturdiness, and convenience. So overall, really good product. I'll put a link below if you wanna check it out. So if you like what you see around me, these are the mountains of Nicaragua. This is actually my coffee farm here that we're working on rebuilding. So if you like what you see and you want to support the movement, you can go ahead and try my coffee. There's a link below that you can click on and it's fresh from these mountains. It gets roasted in California, so it's always fresh to order. So when you order, you're getting nothing but good flavors. 
Thank you guys that have bought my coffee before because everything that's coming to us is going straight into the soil right behind me.